So the first thing you will do is head up to the top left hand side of the screen and press insert. You'll then click on the spreadsheet and we're going to start off by inserting a new Excel spreadsheet. So click that. Now I'll load in a brand new spreadsheet and we'll paste it right here. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually edit this. So not only can you view it right in OneNote, you can edit it. So click on it and press edit. And you're going to have to wait for it to load. And eventually it will open up your Excel and it has this spreadsheet from OneNote. It'll just open up right in Excel. So here's the um, area that it was showing us. So it has a1 through 12 to G. So you can, you know, fill this out. Random stuff that you want. Doesn't matter. Whatever you're using it for, just fill it out. And once you're done, you can click the X in the top right corner and press save. And give it a second and we'll update this in one note. And there you go. And if you decide to go past those 12 rows and you decide to be 15, it would expand this and do more. I'll show you that right here. Wait for it to load. It takes a little bit. And let's say we want to do a couple more. I go to 15. And so actually to do that, you need to, once you open up, once you open up your spreadsheet in, the, in Excel, you need to... Um, drag the selected area down to where you want to um, expand the range and press the X and press save and now it expands it and makes it bigger. So now instead of having 1 through 12, you're 1 through 15. And to do it again, to add more or to add less, once again, wait for it to load. And you would just take this highlighted zone and drag it up to where you'd want. So let's say we only want 12 of them. Press the X, press save. Wait for it to update. It's only show 12. Show this. So that's how to create a brand new spreadsheet. Now let's show how to import an existing spreadsheet. So for now, we can just click on this and press delete. Go back up to insert spreadsheet. And now let's click on existing Excel spreadsheet. And now open up your files and you can select any of your existing Excel spreadsheets. So I'm going to select my basketball Excel spreadsheet and press insert. And we're going to want to do insert spreadsheet. Press that. Give it a second to load in. And now it's going, to, it's going to make this a lot bigger, which you can do with the new one too, just blow it up. And now it has a spreadsheet. And once again, if you click edit, it's going to open up Excel. You can edit through there. Right. And here's your selected zone. So let's say we only want it to come to there. Press the X. Press save. Give it a minute, these three rows should not be here anymore. And it could take longer to update this with the more stuff you have on your spreadsheet. As you see, I have a lot of stuff on here, so it could take a longer time. Just give it a little bit, it will go away. Um, then also, as you can see down here, you can type, um, you can make notes, you can type whatever you want. You can, like I said, you can make this smaller, you can move it around. And you delete it. All that stuff. So that's how you insert and create new spreadsheets inside Windows.